And I believe we can heal maybe Gallif. I don't know. I don't think anybody needs to be healed. And if I don't... Oh, he did. If I don't learn it this time, then I don't learn it this time. There are plenty of opportunities later to learn all the blue magics. There's no time criteria on any of them, so I wouldn't be overly concerned about it. But I want to learn them, damn it. I want to learn them. Just defend. Everybody else just attack. I should aim every time with Bart because there's no purpose in not doing that. It increases his ability to hit the enemy. Are you going to stop using it on him? Damn it. Why don't you understand? I want you to use it on Ferris. He just keeps on using it on Bart. But that's it. We're killing him. We are killing the blood slime. You see, we're not doing very much damage as it is. Go, yeah, fire too, why not? I don't want to use any of the higher stuff just yet. 832 for the victory. Down it goes, I don't think he ever used it on Ferris. There was one thing that he tried to use that I didn't see though. Hero 1 Gill, 360 experience, two ability points for that, and yeah, we didn't learn it. I want to learn it, though. That is damn good ability. It's like a free drain spell. Well, not free, but you know what I mean? It's a blue magic drain spell, which is always nice. Do we have good enemies here? Well, more crawfishes. And as a result of that battle, not only do we keep moving along here, we have learned Ferris's next job level. Well, I guess it's not necessarily learned, but Ferris has gotten there. Uh, job level six on Black Mage, and because I don't want to wait for 450 ability points, we're gonna switch Ferris back to the Blue Mage, where I only need 250. It's so much better. That sounds good for now. We're going to move the black over as well. I don't have an extra shield. I accidentally sold it. And I didn't purchase the uh, regular sword uh, that they had in town. I already forgot what the name of that was. I went through this a little bit faster than I thought. I did not see that Ferris was that close to learning the next job level. However, with... Um, Black Magic 6, we are set for quite some time, and in fact, I believe that's almost all of it. Almost all the magic ha can be cast now. We need to move on, though. We are still trying to save the little Moogle. Let's go over here and fight more on this. And as a result of that battle, Ferris did learn Red Feast. Very nice. And we can get 4,400 gil out of that treasure chest. Also very nice. And we can fall down waterfall. No new enemies here, but we can keep falling down the waterfalls, which is definitely what I wanted to do. The other way only leads to, well, the beginning. So I don't want to head that way. Let's just, uh, oh, I wanted to go down there and get the treasure chest. Now we can just continue floating and it looks like I have found the path to the treasure chest. Now there is another enemy on the land that I'm looking for. There it is, the Frisia bat. And I got the first strike on it. This guy is a wall. There's no other way to put it. He is a physical powerhouse in terms of walling and there's not much that I can do to to get rid of that except get a critical holy crap uh while we're at it let's just go for I want to save some of my MP let's go for Shiva why not Shiva something low that does quite a bit of damage Shiva is good for that Chocobo is decent but um if Shiva's only doing 200 then you can only imagine what Chocobo would have done. Probably just double digits. And that's no good. Uh, we're going to continue to go for magic from Ferris, even though Ferris is starting to get low in terms of MP. And I should be, I should be pretty good here, unless it casts Air Wing like a douche. Now I need to cure everybody and waste more of Gallop's magic. This guy, he is quite tanky, and he does have some good spells. He is definitely the toughest fight here. Can I get old on him? No. Uh, maybe he's immune to it. Uh, but down he finally goes. 
Yes, you get 273 heal, 222 experience, and one ability point! That is... Uh, no good. For a fight that tough, to only give me one ability point is disheartening considering how many ability points I need. Let's get that phoenix down, and I believe we can just ignore the stairs over there. They lead nowhere, and we can start heading up these stairs on this side. Actually, the Freezio Bat is weak to fire, so you use fire against it. We have found the Moogle again! Moogle! And it- oh, it has found a skeleton that is chasing it. I thought it just found a skeleton. Uh, we will rescue you, Moogle! And it is boss time! Up against Tyrosaurus. Now, Tyrosaurus is an undead enemy. As an undead enemy, you can definitely use the uh, Phoenix Down strategy against it should you desire. However, uh, I don't like using that tactic very often, so we're not going to. Instead, we're going to be using fire. Fire good. But if you are having trouble with this fight, feel free to use a phoenix down and kick the crap out of this guy. He will die immediately should it hit. We are also going to use Ifrit because, like I said, fire bad for Tyrosaurus. Go Ifrit. Summary 4, not as good as the blue magic that we learned. And 140 there, but we can do that right back at you. Should you ha should I have, you know, sword or whatever? Holy shit, did you see that? Did you see that? Damn, that is a lot of damage. Where's Burn Ray? Go Burn Ray. Look, that's just insta-death. That is what that was. That is no good. We are going to use Rays. I don't want to use more Phoenix Downs, even though that was a lot of uh, a lot of MP that you have to use. It doesn't really heal all that much, but hopefully we should still be able to... Ah, you still missed. Oh, I was scared there. I thought that was the, uh, the bullshit of 20-something whatever. Just... 20-something hundred? It was like 2,600 damage. How the hell am I supposed to be able to deal with that? It's just insta-death. That is what that is. There we go. There's a critical, and down he goes. He's not that tough, uh, if, as long as you have a phoenix down on you. Use it on a party member or on him. Either way, it works. And you get nine ability points for that, so you do definitely want everybody alive. If they're dead, it is no good. They don't get those ability points. How you doing, Moogle? Don't, don't run. I I love you, Moogle. Do you not have a pom-pom? You poor thing. You're scared, aren't you? It's all right. Come here. K Koopa, where is your pom-pom, Moogle? You'll be all right. Sh sure, whatever you say. Now smack it! Oh, she's going to be nice. And then the Moogle runs off anyway. Koopapo! What's it doing? It looks like it's calling someone. And we're back on the world map with the Moogle. And it wants us to avoid the desert. Are you watching this? This is kind of important. Let's just go around and there seems to be a forest over there where we can go to. That seems rather important. I do need to heal though before we do that. All healed and ready to go. Well, HP is healed. That's for sure. Let's get out of here and we can follow the path that the Moogle went on. If you noticed, he carefully avoided the desert. There is a good reason for that. There are very, very difficult enemies in there. We are talking thousands and thousands of HP. And uh, they're all going to be weak to water. It is a desert, of course, but I only have enough MP for one aqua rake. So I'm going to avoid them. That seems like a plan to me. So we need to head in here, if I remember right, it was one, there, and there we go, there is the Moogle Village. It's five to the right and three up. And how you doing, Moogles? Uh, or you could just run away. Why do Moogles always run from me? <laughs> Moogles never pay attention to me! 
let's just head up here and hopefully we can find somebody to talk to. Uh, okay, when this happens, when when that happens, let's wait over here and wait for that to happen because we had, we did get stopped there. There we go. That is what happens when you get stopped and he goes, Goopo, we need to talk to this guy here. What the hell? He got scared. Oh, that's right. It's you. <laughs> the guy that I... Well, all you. Yes, it's the Moogle we just helped. Thank you. Apparently, Reyna can identify Moogles now. They all look the same to me. Are you thanking us? I don't know if there's female Moogles, male Moogles. I only know them as Moogles. And we can go into his house here. Holy crap, he's got treasure. How you doing, buddy? I think it's telling us we can take what's in here. I was going to anyway. <laughs> You're not going to stop me, but we can get an ether, a phoenix down, 10,000 gil, 10,001 gil, a uh, dancing dirk, and a cottage. Anything else? Yeah, okay, I guess that's it. So then we can just leave, I guess. And now we can talk to the other ones. How you doing? Anybody got anything good to say? No? Nobody? They all just say Koopa. So let's start heading into their houses now that they're available to us. It's a Moogle costume! Yes! I am now the Moogle. Now, my job is complete! Let's head in here. And... It's locked from the inside. But it's falling in love with us, so it's going to give us what's inside anyway. <laughs> and we receive an elf cloak. Not that it's that important, but it's there. Now, I believe that we actually need to leave so that we can take the costume off. Yeah, we, we take the costume off as soon as we leave. But now... We are ready to move on. We need to talk to this guy right here, and we will do that next time. That's going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Final Fantasy V. I've been Bala Scoob. I've been joined, as always, by my Moogle-rific party of Bars, Raina, Gallif, and Ferris. When we come back, we will talk to this Moogle here, which surely will only result in good things. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.